Alright, so I guess I am doing this game. Alright, so, hey everyone, I'm Super Mario Sonic Lover, and because I cannot seem to uh, get away from these two disembodied voices, these guys are joining me again here as well. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, I am ScrappyFan92, my YouTube channel is PlatformerFan, <laughs> I don't update, and I'm here <laughs> for Rayman Origins. Yep. Number 1995 here, I've been enough times, I've taught enough in Kingdom Hearts, so. <laughs> yep. And yeah, um, I said back when I did Rayman Legends that I wasn't sure if I was going to do this game because I did Back to Origins, but it's been at least like three years since that playthrough, I've had time to think on it, and I may as well do this. I might, I'm probably going to be redoing Legends as well because I can't watch that playthrough now without cringing, <laughs> so... <laughs> Yeah, and it's basically, on, on my channel, it's basically just a thing now, like, every year or so, I do a Rayman game, so, hey. Last year was Rayman 1, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I, I, do, I do plan on doing Rayman 2 and 3 again at some point, too. <laughs> now, despite this game's name, it is not actually the a prequel to Rayman 1. No, it's not. It... Oh, it, it's like going back to its roots, though. It's, um... Right? It, it's like, this game went through a few, <laughs> a few story changes. It's like, first, it was supposed to be, like, what it what the title says, an actual origin, and it was gonna be episodic. Um, like, they were... Rayman and friends were gonna <laughs> gradually go to, like, how they are in the number titles, but now it's just basically its own thing. <laughs> uh, and now we get to the best part of this game, the animation. It is pretty good. Oh yeah, this game is beautiful. This game has, like, it's oozing with personality and character. Mm, that UB art framework. Yeah. It's really showing this stuff here. Yeah. Definitely. And If you uh, had mixed thoughts of Rayman 1, which I don't blame you if you did, play this game because it's basically everything Rayman 1 did, but a million times better. Oh, totally. Yay. When are we gonna find the Oomsley? Uh, Oomsley. He's, he's to the left. Okay, that's, um... Uh, what uh, <laughs> Murphy's saying there is a uh, interesting thing that was supposed to be in originally. Um... There was gonna be a secondary area where you were where you were gonna find the Bubble Dreamer, and um, it was like as many electoons as you got, the more memories you'd remember. You still unlock characters with electoons, but they kind of just cut some of the story elements to it. Yeah, but the guy talks in a uh, pig Latin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we, today. we can't really do anything about that guy now. That hat didn't look familiar though, it's quite legends. It should look familiar if you play Rayman 1. I mean I don't All think right. I don't think it's the same I don't think it's the same guy, like um the thing with this game is that it kinda retcons a few things from Rayman 1, like um like characters that didn't have any limbs have limbs here, and I guess the magician turned into a teensy. I guess. Mm. Uh, either that or it's a different character. And it just has but Hillel dresses like a nymph now. Yeah. I, I <laughs> In terms of timeline placement, I want to say this game takes place uh, after Rayman 1, but before 2 and 3. Because, oh, definitely yeah. before 2. I mean, look at that dark goes. Yeah. And this, game, and this game's pacing is phenomenal. Yeah. I mean... Like, things rarely slow down. Yeah. There, yeah, you're going all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, I... Man. Right now, I can only run and jump, so... Yeah. I want... Have you played this game before, uh, Scrappy? Yes. And you like it, too? Yeah. In my... I made a list of games in 2010 of my top 10 favorites, and Rayman Origins was in it. Nice. Hey. 
Yeah, I have. I played this. I think I played this game like two years after it was released. Mm. And I remember I I played I played it alone, unfortunately. But my God, was it fun? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Mm. Pants face. <laughs> uh. Power to attack. But yeah, the main reason I think this is like it has to be after after one at least because there's direct uh, references to Mr. Dark, especially like at end game. So and then we yeah, have like have like stuff like the um, mosquitoes from Rayman One coming back as well. Those enemies right there were from Rayman One, right? Yeah. Uh, um, I played this game. I played this game with the Wii Remote, so yeah. I by itself. You playing with the nunchuck? I have, I play with the nunchuck. I find it more natural. Well, because analog stick with a D-pad. Yeah. Well, I'm at, like in 2D games. I always use if I ain't. It, that's when I use the D-pad. I mean, even when I was playing the Crash Insane trilogy, when I was doing any any 2D section, I used the D-pad. Hmm. I just use the D-pad for the Crash games. Yeah, a lot of people do. Yeah. Yeah, that that's something different for in Rayman 3. In Rayman Legends is they don't have that. Yeah, uh in Rayman Legends, uh pub there's like trails of lungs and um if you get them in order, you get like double the amount. I actually forgot they were red in this one. <laughs> I do like the jingle though, regardless. Yeah. Our main goal is elections. Yep. There's um, a few ways you can get these. Beat the end of the stage, <laughs> find secret areas, get enough flums, and do a time trial. I'm... This ain't gonna be 100%, we're just gonna get enough flums. Uh, a lot, enough uh, electoons to get to the land of the liver dead. Precious. <laughs> Any, look at him. Yeah. Um, even then, um, if you get all the electrons, you'll all just get you another skin. Another what? It doesn't just give you another Rayman skin. It just gives you the dark Rayman skin, doesn't it? I think so, yeah. I never actually bought it to get it. You know, it took me the longest time to realize that that, that electron wheel is very, it's just like that one. It's just like the TNT cage beater in Rayman 3. Oh, yeah, it's basically the exact same. And this is, I think this is the level they show off of a demo. I think so. Oh no, not this one, it was the other one. It's the one, it's the one after this, I think. Mm. The swinging caves is the one, I, is the, where the, is the demo. Right. Demo. Oh yeah, um, what are, this was also released on Xbox 360 and PS3, right? And 3DS. Yep. Oh uh, right, I forgot to do the 3DS port. Uh, and I Vita. I wouldn't recommend the 3DS version from what I played. I played the demo and, like, it just, oh. that game just doesn't work on that small on the small screen. Like they, they they didn't really optimize it at all. Wait, was it like frame rate and all that? The frame rate was cut to 30 frames, I believe, and uh, it it's just like the game was like really small. Oh, like reverse screen crunch or something? Basically, yeah. And it just doesn't mm. feel as good to play. I wonder if the Vita version's any better. It is. Yeah, I've heard Rayman Legends especially is pretty good on Vita. Uh, yeah, um, you, you, have you played Legends, um, Scrappy? I played the demo on Wii U. I haven't on, I, I haven't played the demo. Uh, I put, the only time I played a demo of Legends was the definitive version on, on uh, for the Switch. Mm. Um, I, I own the PS4 version of Rayman Le uh, Legends. And the dog returns. Oh no. But yeah. Also, another thing on that wheel you may have noticed is another way to get Electoon, and Electoon, which is definitely why we're not going for 100% is the time trial. Yeah. I might do a, f I might do like a few just cause I, I need as, uh, many as I can get right now, but... Yeah, we aren't doing all those. And you were too slow and that coin got crushed. Yep. Getting the yeah, getting the teensies compared to getting the Latoons is a lot is a lot easier. Mm. 
But you just gotta find them as opposed to this, where it's a lot of... Well, you still find them. But, uh... You have like, to... Lums are harder to... Uh, it's harder to get the amount of lums you need for all the alert tunes. Even, yeah, the only thing you really need... Lums. The only thing you really need the lums for were in uh, Legends was just for the uh, the ticket, really. Yeah. Cause those, cause some of those tickets were the back to Origins levels. Which I'm really, I actually am pretty glad that they did that too, just to mm. keep you know it adds a lot more to the game as well. Yeah. Well, so I, I called them lums because they did that in Rayman Three. It sounds more natural than looms. Uh. Yeah. Plus, the spelling just looks like lums. Yeah. Boop! Oh, uh, uh, you're gonna do this way. <laughs> oh, yeah, then they re Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Um, in Rayman Origins, like, when you hit the enemies, they do come into the balloons. But, and if you hit them again for more, um, looms. Or, er, damn it. Lums. <laughs> But um, in in legends, they just um destroy immediately. Yeah. I mean, or or at least rather you can't get lums off them. Right. Oh god. Oh come on. Invincibility frames. Yeah, this game doesn't have many invincibility frames. And even then, it doesn't even tell you how long you have. Are you gonna play as Rayman the entire time, or are you gonna switch up characters? Uh, I usually play Rayman only. But hey. you might as well show up one or two later. Yeah. My brother mainly plays Glowbox. Mm. Uh, I'm yeah. Uh, I'm usually Rayman as well. Actually, Rayman gets the least amount of skins if I'm correct the two. Hmm. Oh, he didn't get gold. Metals don't do anything. Yeah, but I want to see. Oh, the, I never think that legend see the does dance. better. I never think that legend does better. You can skip this. Yeah. Maybe you should get the time trial here at least. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do this one. I I would only do more if uh, we need to get more teens, uh, elect tunes. Uh, Rayman is so acrobatic in this game. Yeah. Everybody's so acrobatic, even Glowbox. <laughs> oh yeah, that. Yeah. Um, so that one though. Do... You're gonna do that after this, right? Sure. I suppose. I believe Glowbox and two random Teensies are playable right from the start. Yeah, Glowbox, the Goth Teensy, and the King Teensy. Yeah. You mean Blue Toad and Yellow Toad. Basically. <laughs> they're basically that. Yeah, time trial, exactly how it sounds. You can get a, a trophy, for, which is a better reward, but it doesn't really mean much. It's just a platinum relic. Basically. Yeah, I didn't even think about it that way. But kind of like the speedrun levels in like, the Donkey Kong Country Returns du and Duology. Yeah. You know, there's, there, you don't really need to do them. Basically. Oh crap. Oh god. Hey! I meant I was supposed, I was trying to slide the... Like, well... At least the, um, you know, the loading screens are actually still pretty quick. Yeah. Even for the Wii. They're even quicker on PS3. Yeah. Oh, you just see, oh, you just see the loading times on, um... What's it called? Oh, you play the PS3 version of this? No, I had the Wii version. I just played a demo on PS3. All right. Um, Rayman Legends. I, I since I have the PS4 version, the loading times are non-existent. Uh. Yeah. Which really keeps the things things going. Right. I don't know why the way when you do that rolling animation, I just imagine Daxter going. Please tell me you remember how to roll. Uh. It, it does feel really exhilarating to uh, blaze through the levels, though. It, like this game has such a free flow, free flowing feel to the controls. Uh, nice, okay. you even got the trophy. 
The ball is effectively beside the metal 100%ed. Yep. And I don't care to go back to do that. <laughs> yeah, get, but getting the medal is a lot harder in this one. And then, like, getting the gold trophy in Legends. Yeah, I, I uh, got everything in Legends, gold trophies and all. Uh, this game, uh, as, much as, I, as much as I do love this game, uh, there's not really much of an incentive for me to finish it. 100%. Yeah. This thing has like three or four hints for you, actually. Right. Jesus, Harry killed the plant. Bull balloon. So wait behind your attack. Take time to wind up. One of them is just him snoring. <laughs> yep. Yep. Is that the magician's hat? <laughs> Yep. Oh right, you don't have to hover right away. No, you don't have that either. Cause I, le yeah, Legends has it so you have all the abilities you get by the end of this game. And you uh, don't get more, which is a bit of a shame, but I kind of understand why they did that, cause you can choose any level at any point. Oh gosh, it's great to knock enemies into other enemies. Yeah, that does feel good. That rem oh yeah, that's a good time. That's a good actually way to mention something about the about the sla about the slap it, the attacking. Hmm. Um, and you, when you're a multiplayer, you can hit each other. Yeah, and the uh, Michelle Ansel's reason for that is hilarious. Apparently, he thought there wasn't enough ways to troll your play uh, your friends or Mario Wii, so he made it so you could hit the characters in this game, which I find yeah. which is really hard to to, to not do. Yeah. Especially when you need to build up speed with the spin attacks. <laughs> At least they were considerate with the music levels in Legends. Yeah. Ugh. I forgot I had the I forgot I didn't have the wall run. Red. Yeah, that's our last power up. I remember correctly. Oh yeah, one that you just did something I love doing is the, the spin, spin, spin jumps. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love doing that. Yeah, you can make them go into those spike balls, but you don't get lumps, so. Risk reward. Yes. And it's just cool doing it that way. Yeah, if you want to get, like, the gold medals, if you care about that stuff, uh, get all the lumps you can, kill all the enemies, and hit them again when they're in a bubble form. And, yeah, just yeah. don't pass no. out on any opportunity. Why we don't bother, usually? You, that... Wait, wait. All the pop. Oh. <laughs> yeah, kill me. <laughs> oh, God. Uh. I think it's even more terrifying in Legends because of, you know how the, the sprites are even better. Yeah. Well, actually, are they sprites in Legends or are they models? Um. Neither really. Because it could be like uh. Oh game, come on. It could be like Game and Watch and Smash Brothers. Yeah. They're not mo They're not sprites. They're 2D models. Hmm. Well, that, yeah, the, yeah. Well, there are some bosses that are blatantly, like, 3D. Eh, uh, in Legends? Yeah. The, 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 the wrestler comes to mind? Um, wait, in Legends or, or in this game? Uh, Legends. Um, the dragons mainly, yeah. Uh, and the, uh, the Luchadore. <laughs> the third boss. That be that reminds me so much of Reflux. <laughs> yes, Andy. Can't you say anything else? No, Andy. Uh, uh, oh man. Ooh. Yeah. Fast crawling. Woo. Oh. Whoa. Wait, was that Hunter just holding a loom? I think yeah. so. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, they're called hunters, right? I just always saw them as just random green guys. Enemy. Yeah, basically. Yes, you are. You are free. I'm free! There wasn't a... Oh, there's a thing up there. I'm falling free in the wind! Hmm. <laughs> Bad joke. Oh, I can't get that. That's the medal's lost. <laughs> yeah, also, these games have the least amount of health. You can only get one heart, uh, which lets you live for one extra hit point. Otherwise, you're just gonna die with a single hit. Although, this game is very generous with um, checkpoints, so it's not really an issue. Yeah, that's also what I like about this game, too. Is there's all, you're always making progress. Yeah. This is the pure example of a game that can still be hard, but doesn't need lives. Uh -huh. Oh, also, I, I can tell by the way when you um, when the uh, when those platforms have things when they have bubbles. Yeah. They're very faint bubbles, but still. Yeah. So, I, I appreciate the indication. Wait, how? Ooh, okay. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> this game does run at 60 on the Wii, right? Yeah, I believe so. If it isn't, you could have fooled me. <laughs> 59 frames. Yeah, that's the Mario Kart 8 on the Wii U is. Which is hilarious. Wait, really? It's like 59.94 or something. So it's Wait, like. Really? It may as well be 60 frames. <laughs> well, like, it's interesting because on 8. Oh, I'll, I'll bet 8 Deluxe runs at full uh, 60. Yeah, 8 Deluxe. I'm pretty sure 8 Deluxe does. But although when you're playing local multiplayer, the frame rate does cut. Right. It, like when you're playing with, well, rather you're playing with three or more, then it becomes a uh, 30. Yeah, same on the Wii U. I mean, it's still playable. Yeah. It's not that bad. It's just. No, it's not playable. It. But like, yeah, like you're gonna be playing single player more often. So. Show off the snoring tree. All right. Oh, look at these two guys. We're one electron away. Yay. And the funny thing is, each of you are technically considered different characters. Yeah. Yeah. If you go to the Bubble Dreamer, he actually and grab his beard. He'll actually say like, "Ah, oh, red gold box." Like yeah. and like like give him like his own character. Yeah. It's kind of weird. And speaking of which, we're gonna be playing as red gold box apparently. <laughs> Hmm. I use Red Globox for the swimming levels because he blends in with the water. Yep. Yeah, I, I guess I'll. I'll miss the demo level, I think. Or one of them. I. Hmm. Zero Abyss or Swinging Cave. I'm pretty sure Zero Abyss or Swinging Caves. I uh. don't remember this being in a demo. And that's just another one I'm not aware of. Well, I think the demo also had the first uh, water level. Mm. Or one of the demos, anyways. I think the store demos did. Oh, oh, right. No, I'm thinking about the 3DS demo. Alright, the 3DS demo was only swing caves. Alright. I screwed up. Go, go, go! Yeah, no, this is a bust. Whatever. It's not that much of a bust. Well, uh, we could have got really? a lot of rum lums from this, so. Whoa! I, I guess I'll show off, like, the, uh, like, at least the other types of characters at least once. Like. Whoa, whoa, Robo Harry. What? You went Robo. Oh. What, Dad? Alright. My dad's going to Harry, so I'm gonna text him. <laughs> Robo Harry. Oh um, man, yeah. I can't wait to actually get the actual underwater swimming. Because mm. actually, the underwater the swimming in this game is actually really good too. Yeah. I have to spiral tube swimming. Mm, 
kinda. What do you mean by spiral to swimming? So you can basically just kind of what's the words? Speed through the charge. Yes, you're not. You don't basically. You're not. Uh, your mobility is not automatically oh, restricted. <laughs> Yeah, you move there. You. <laughs> okay. We hit that. Uh, your mobility. Yeah, your mobility isn't hindered in Sparrow. Though, uh. I actually forgot there wasn't any swimming levels in Sparrow One. Oh yeah, no. no that, on... that dragon sunk like a rock. You had to learn how to swim. Yeah, but by paying money bags. Cause. But well, actually, that's the first power up you learn from money bags in Sparrow Two, isn't it? Swimming underwater? Yes. He also has to learn how to climb ladders. We, him, him now remembering Mega Man 8 is a power. You have to buy an upgrade to climb ladders faster. Uh, one thing I'm glad they brought in in, in Origins, you can't actually move and attack. Uh, you can only like do the dash attack when you're running. So I'm glad they added the the movement attack in Legends. It makes it. Feel a bit more natural. With the what? Like when I'm moving, I have to stop to attack. Oh. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Grand, more, more often than not, unless you're you're probably running to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> I do that again. I love that ledge grab animation. <laughs> <laughs> So derpy. Actually, actually, if I'm, if I'm noticing correctly, oh no, I was gonna say, isn't his like his, like his mouse not even connected? <laughs> There's something where it's, where it's like that. Actually, I think he's in Legends. Mm. Where he looks, it, where his mouth looks like a set, like a set, like a pair of symbols. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. Mm. There's something down there. Yeah. Well, well, you're not gonna be able to. Oh. No, I can't get that. I probably could if I had hover. Hover! Uh, you missed something. Yeah. Not that. Go back down. Crap. To the right of that swinger. Yeah, I saw it. Ooh. Owned. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the uh, Legends as, as well, you can easily break the cages on either side. Here you have to charge up on ground pound or hit the locks on both sides. I also like, um, by the way, how like in the Back to Origins levels, how they like managed to implement more eight, like the 18 C's into the level and then made the two um, they made the king and queen basically uh, these kind of, and where these elections are. Yeah. Oh crap. Oh god. Uh. <laughs> no, yeah, you should get the king thing and then go. Yeah. Oh! Okay, okay. Uh, yeah, go kill yourself. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, that's why I laughed. They realized what I said. Dang it. I'm just, nah, tell us how you really feel, Jason. Um, Harry is my best friend and I love him. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> huh. Scrap me secretly gonna poison me tonight. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, poison you tonight, I have to get ready for college. <laughs> Next week then? Sure, why not? No, that's a Labor Day weekend, I can't. <laughs> I like how we're planning out poison. <laughs> Are the bombs set yet? I'm afraid I don't know that reference, Jason. Yes, you be. Ah, uh, I need to watch them more. Woo! Oh, wow. Just Wait, did they just do an air guitar? I guess. Like, yeah. He was. Did you see that? He was cleaning his arm and picked up the, the loom. Uh oh. Die, die. Oh, yeah. One way. Yeah. But no, the, um, uh,. The bull spike things, like, as soon as you hit the, the uh, switch, they're basically, the hitbox is basically unactivated. Oh, crap. 
Yay! Woo. I wanna I wanna get at least one of these because we get a disco. Well, <laughs> I like Rayman's dance a little. <laughs> that 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 smile looks like Oscar proud. <laughs> yeah. Is that the dad in in proud yeah. family? Yeah. Like him smiling right before a dog bites him. Uh, uh, oh, the opening. Yeah. Yes! You just barely made it. That's why oh. I told him to die. Yeah! Do the Cossack! To make us. <laughs> Moscow, Moscow. Uh. I don't know the freaking words. I don't know the freaking words. Yeah! <laughs> hey, what? Oh my gosh, I remember that. <laughs> I think I, rem I think I remember editing in the Sea Spring run. I just put the on for a, a little bit and put like, yeah, the actual song. No, the uh, I just keep the disco on for a little while and then I uh, just put yeah boy. Yeah, well like uh, Scrappy seems to know what I'm referencing. I recall some guy doing like linking that song into a crash into crash free footage with crash yeah. into crash dance. Nice. That was, that was great. Um, it, it's a Chuck Conroy reference. Because, like, in Majora's Mask, if you put on, like, the Captain's Mask or the, uh, the, I mean, the Gibdo Mask or something like that in front of the, uh, Redeads, they start dancing. One, one of them in the Iconic Castle does the Moscow dance. And here's the, uh, backstory stuff. Nice body art, my friend. Yeah. Yeah. The one thing I appreciate about, um, Rayman Legends is also the, uh, the option to restart the level or restart the sequence. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. You can restart. Yeah, you can restart, but you can restart with specific like rooms and all that, or whatever, or it's your last checkpoint. 